Hello everyone, I am Dr. Suyash Singh Dhomar, a dermatologist practicing at Dermax Skin Clinic, Gomti Nagar Extension, Lucknow. So the topic for today's discussion will be hair fall. So let's delve into this topic which affects many of us and it is a common concern with various causes. But to seek professional advice when this condition can make significant differences for managing it effectively. First, we'll talk about the types of hair loss. Firstly, let's understand that there are different types of hair loss. There are several uh, types including endogenetic alopecia, which is a genetic and it is the most common form of alopecia. And there is telogen effluvium, which is often triggered by stress, illness, hormonal changes, etc. Other types include alopecia areata in which there is a patchy form of hair loss. So each type presents with a distinct symptoms and underlying causes are different for each of the type. Therefore, consulting a dermatologist for proper diagnosis and tailored treatment plan. Now, next we'll discuss the common myths about hair loss. So, contrary to the popular belief, wearing hats does not cause hats or hem- helmets does not cause baldness or even increase shampooing frequency does not cause the hair loss or it causes harshness of the hair. So the truth lies in understanding the genetic predisposition of an individual, his hormonal influences and the lifestyle factors and it is also essential to know the misconceptions which are prevalent among the society uh, with evidence based insights. Now let's talk about some tips to prevent the hair loss. To prevent the hair loss, first and foremost what you can do at home is focusing on the balanced diet which should be rich in vitamins and minerals and particularly in iron biotin. These are the nutrients which are crucial for the hair health. And gentle hair care practices are also a key, like avoid over styling with products, excessive heat with uh, blow dryer or using of harsh chemical on your hair. Then stress management with meditation or yoga, regular exercises are all important factors which may improve your hair condition. Now after this, what are the treatment options for different type of hair loss? So there are certain medications like minoxidil, finasteride, which are FDA approved for the prevention and treatment of uh, hair fall and endogenetic alopecia. Then there are surgical solutions like hair transplant or some invasive treatments like PRP or GFC injections, which uses the plasma from your blood to boost the uh, hair growth by injecting it into your scalp so these are all the options and the choice of treatment depends on the type and severity of the hair loss which will be decided by your dermatologist so consulting a dermatologist ensures that best suited approach for you is provided and what are the lifestyle tips for healthy hair so incorporating a healthy lifestyle that promotes scalp health and overall well-being Uh, is important so staying hydrated getting enough of sleep doing exercise and protecting your hair from the environmental damage also from harmful products these all can be helpful at home you can do scalp massages which can stimulate the blood flow and using of mild shampoos and conditioner also along with the shampoo maintains the hair strength and moisture balance about diet, it is important to take a diet rich in vitamins. The specific vitamins which you should be incorporating into your diet are vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, then B complex like biotin, folic acid. These all are very important uh, vitamins. Along with that, you should also have a high protein intake according to your body weight, which is also a very important part uh, of your hair health. So, to conclude, the hair loss involves recognizing uh, the type and uh, tailored treatment should be there according to the type so for that you should have a proper diagnosis thank you for watching for more insights and on skin care and hair health please follow us and stay tuned for our next video feel free to leave any question and comments below thank you